Hey everyone, and welcome back. So, if you've probably seen my tower array, we're doing a what if Uranus, Uranus' moons, and Neptune's moons over the Venus. So, you see, so if you can see, I have every moon here that well, would orbit Venus. The farthest out moon is Oberon, anything beyond Oberon, one orbit Venus. Since Venus isn't as large as Neptune or Uranus, you can see. That. I mean, Venus is still pretty big compared to most objects in our solar system. But yeah, let's get into it. So nothing's probably gonna happen at the start. We got like Titania, Oberon, Ariel, and we also got Triton. Many things probably won't happen. Also made a video on Venus, like what if uh, Venus had old major moons, which is probably gonna be more interesting than this. So it looked like my ooh, the Triton. Oh, it's Titania. Hmm. Maybe, maybe Titania can create some chaos. Triton's is probably the farthest one out right now. Oh, it looks like Oberon escaped. So Oberon doesn't want to stick around. Let's speed up a bit more. Titan's orbit is starting to get more unstable, it looks like. Yeah, still nothing's happening. Ooh, wait. Yeah, look at Titania. Oh, there goes Titania. I was hoping that Titania would collide with Venus, because something usually collides and screws up a lot of things. Oh, oh there goes Oberon. But all of uh, Uranus's major moons are... Oh, and that's the third one. Ariel and Miranda are still here. I also got uh, Trainway out here. I also got Proteus. There's not... I don't know. Train may go soon. Got about almost two months a second now. Nothing seems to be happening. Air Ariel's orbit, though. Maybe you can climb. <laughs> Make this more interesting. Fixed its orbit a little bit. It's still got a weird orbit though. So the simulation's gonna go any faster. Umbriel, forgot about Umbriel. And Ariel, ooh. So what happened? Did it collide or did it escape? It seemed to escape and now it's going into Mercury's orbit. Wow, it's the closest object now. To the sun, well, at some points. Like it's kind of same with Mercury. At some points, it's closer to the sun. Oh, looks like Miranda. Looks like Miranda decided to turn this around. <laughs> wow, Miranda screwed up a lot of things there. I 
hand is gone, yeah, the way I'm collided. Oh! Look at that, Venus grabbed over on it for a couple of seconds there. Yeah. Buddy collision. <laughs> so that's what I want to happen. It makes this video more interesting. Most of the time, nothing happens. Which really does suck, suck a lot. This is gonna move here. Hmm. Probably a moon of Uranus. It looks like Triton is, looks like to be the only major moon left. I mean, yeah, it looks like to be the only major moon left. I mean, Proteus, I don't know. It's almost to being. I don't know how to explain it. Proteus could be a major moon, I guess. I don't think it is, though. It's close to being a sphere, but it doesn't have enough mass. That, that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> it doesn't look like it can speed anything up any faster. I think it's because of this one little moon right here. It's really close, but sometimes if something orbits a bit too close, it slows down the simulation. Just drag it out a bit farther. Yeah, there we go. So I'm just going to say this is my theory of what would happen. These, these moons right here with these really wor weird orbits, I would say they would just go at one point. And the rest of these moons, I would say, just orbit just fine. Um, Venus. This is my theory, of course. Hello. I think that this, this is Ham Pimple Camp, right? or this one, this one right here, Pimple Camp. It still hasn't actually been named in game yet. It's a moon of Neptune, the smallest moon of Neptune. Here's my theory, though. I feel like all, the, all these little inner moons would start orbiting Venus just fine. And Trayton would be would be the last major moon because it doesn't look like much is gonna happen anymore. Yeah. So here, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Well, maybe if you wanna watch any more of my videos, but yeah, see ya.